Spearman's correlation coefficient, abbreviated as rho. It is a non-parametric statistical test. So a test that used when the data are not normally distributed. So it does measure the strength and the direction of association between two variables, two non-normally distributed variable or two ranked data. The test arrange the data into ranks, then uses person equation to calculate the raw value. It can be used for correlation between Likert scale items. The test determines the raw value uh, for a correlation between two variables and determine the strength of the correlation on a scale of minus one to plus one. Plus one is the strongest uh, correlation. Minus one is uh, um, strongest correlation, but it is inverse. Plus one is strongest correlation, but it is a positive relationship. So it tells the direction of the relationship, whether the relationship or the correlation, whether there is an increase or an inverse value. It does determine also the significance of this association by producing a p-value. Now, to do the test, the data has to fulfill certain requirements and assumptions. The data has to be random. One variable is ordinal, the other is continuous, or both are ordinal, or two variable that are continuous but they exhibit monotonic relationship the data contains paired sample or samples independence of observation data are not normally distributed and ranked data so the test is used for non-linear relationship, i.e. monotonic relationship between two variables. And it is a non-parametric test for the data that are not normally distributed or ranked or ordinal. Pi-variate correlation. Spearsman's correlation coefficient is a non-parametric test, is one of the tests available to look for and examine relationship between two variables or two groups or two samples. When the scores within one of the variable or one of the group is not normally distributed, then you cannot use a barometric test like Pearson's correlation coefficient. Spearsman's is the one to use when you have one of your data are not normally distributed. In fact, one of the conditions for Spearsman's correlation coefficient is that one of the data need to be ordinal. Ordinal mean non-parametric means that the data are in order like A, B, C, D, E, F. So this is called ordinal. The other, the second uh, variable can be continuous or can be again ordinal. So Spearman's, Spearsman's correlation coefficient is a test for finding out the relationship association link correlation between two set of data and two variables or two variables. The test well measures the strength of the association by assigning a factor or a value called RHO coefficient. If, if the value is minus one, then that means the strength, that's the strongest correlation and minus indicate inverse relationship. One variable increase, the other decrease. And if the, uh, the raw coefficient is plus one, then it is a positive relationship one variable increase, the other increase. If the RO, RHO 
or the coefficient close to zero or zero, then it means that there is no correlation between two variables and there are no link. So the test really measures the strength of the correlation, the direction of the correlation, increase or decrease, and the statistical significance of this correlation. The way to do that is in SPSS is to look at this example. I have here four columns or four variables from grades, study hours, variable one and variable two, I call them. So I need to find whether there is a correlation or a relationship or a link between grades that the student obtain from um, and correlate that to the study of hours and then a variable one and a variable two. Again, grades means one, two, three, four, indicate A, B, C, D, E, F. Give them a labeling. So the variable in the grades are ordinal. It is not normally distributed. It's not a continuous. The study hours also is a continuous because it can be one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, five hour, six hour, 12 hours, 13 hours, and so on, 15 hours of study. Variable one also is a continuous and variable two is a continuous. I've already checked the distribution of these data. Again, here I want to correlate the association between those variables and to find out whether there is link between them and what kind of relationship is it increasing decreasing and is it significant or not significant for this test we are for this data we are going to use a test that is non-parametric it's a spears man's correlation coefficient if i click on analyze then correlate pi var pi variate go for pi variate correlation and I'm going to move the grades to the variables section, the study hours to the variable section, and then variable one, and then variable two. Here in the coefficient correlation, I am going to untick the persons because I'm not going to use the person because here our data are not normally distributed. One of the variable or the group are ordinal, so we cannot use Pearson. We only can use Spearman and Kindle also probably can be used, but not in these circumstances. I will have another video describing when to use the Kindle to association or correlation test. Regarding the test of significance, since we do not know the relationship between studying and the grades, whether it is positive or negative, so we will stick with the default test of significance, two-tailed significance. However, if I know the relationship, whether it's positive or negative, then I can take one-tailed. But in this case, in our current case, we use the two-tailed. I'm going to keep the flag significant correlation ticked on. If I click on OK, a table will be generated, as we see here, and labeled as correlation. What does the correlation do here? Here, what's in fact done is that the Spearsman's test took the data from column number one and column number two, and column number three, and column number four, and put them in ranks, sort them out in ranks, and then used the Pearson correlation coefficient, coefficient to find out the correlation or the association. So, in this finding out here, it is uh, calculated the Spearman row calculated, looking at the grade, the relationship between the grade and study hours, variable one and variable two. Again, if we correlate grades with grades, you will get a perfect relationship one, which is the maximum, which is perfect. However, without giving statistical, because you are correlating the variable to itself. When we correlate the grades with the study hours, we can see here that we have a value of 0.45 and a, a positive value, which means that the, there is a positive relationship between number of study 
hours and the grade achieved so if there is increase in the study number of study hour there is an increase in the grade overall grade grade achieved so there is a positive increasing relationship between these two variables and the statistical significant is really uh, uh, less than 0.05 so there is a statistically significant correlation between the grades and the syllabus and study hours uh, and this is very significant at the two-tailed significance as indicated here so the grade is associated with the study hours and linked to the study hours and it is significant and it is positive However, when we compare and correlate the grades with variable one, we get here a positive correlation, which is a weak positive correlation, 0.156. So there is a correlation between grades and the variable one. However, it is this correlation or this association is not statistically significant as the B value is 0.12. So in this case, I can safely say that there is a weak correlation between grade and variable one, but it is not significant. So we cannot really rule out the relationship between grades and variable. Again, the same story if we look at and correlate between grades and variable two. We get here a raw value of minus 0.046 which is very very close to zero however it is minus so there is a an inverse relationship and a minus a minus so it's really slim correlation between grades and variable two however the statistical significance and the p-value has shown that it is 0.65 so it is not statistically significant as the two-tailed significant value was 0.65 and it is um, greater than 0.05 so thus here we can safely state that the correlation between there, there is no correlation between grade and variable 2 as there is the statistical significant there is no statistical significant between this correlation and the value for the row is very low and close to zero so again here we can see from this example the correlation between variables two variables can be either positive or negative statistically significant and not statistically significant so the road can tell you really the direction of the relationship the strength of the relationship and the significance of the relationship again here also if we look here the other side it's um, cross correlation between these variables and uh, if we look at uh, spearsman's correlation with the uh, study hours with uh, uh, with variable one and two again there is a weak correlation 0.05 close to zero and po and with variable two close to zero statistically significant 0 0.6 0 0.8 so there is no statistical significant comparing these two uh, if we compare variable one again it's with variable two we can see it's 0 0.01 and it's 0 0.9 so there is no statistical statistical significance between those variable one and variable two so this is the way to look at correlation between two data two variables two groups that have scores in them or data on them that one of these groups are not normally distributed i.e ordinal and the other variable either ordinal or continuous is through using the Spearsman's correlation coefficients.